So this is where we started. Um, single base, single piston, six uh, individual drill heads, all attached to uh, 18 pistons total in three layers. Um, you'd sit here, and you could control the whole array from here. The problem is, the original drill heads were so low to the ground... As you can see, I had to dig out a little bit just to build it all before I used it to dig at all. And then when I did use it to dig, it, one and two controlled the main piston here to my left, while three, five, and seven lowered all of my drill bits, as you can see there, and then four, six, and eight raised them all, but two... And this is one of the big reasons why I didn't like this rig, too, causes the lag drop. Where, because it's trying to equalize the weight of the entire rig on that sole piston in that sole corner, it does this. The game is not frozen. The piston is. Because uh, you gotta, like, go up and down. Like, plunge it. And every now and then, it'll just lock up entirely as it tries to somehow stabilize that weight and this this is why i was like all right i need more pistons that's when i learned about subgrids. everything uh north of that piston i'll say you know north is in like above everything above see i'm trying to go up but it won't even go up now it, it's just it's just fucked it's stuck everything above this piston is its own grid which means if i put another piston here it will not connect to this other grid. It'll it'll look like it's connected, but it'll just be pushing on it. And that thing's just foobar now. It's just gonna sit there like that. It, it's it's goner. This, on the other hand, because I have four pistons, the weight is evenly distributed, almost. They can go down. They can go up. And because I learned that you never have to actually change the velocity. You don't have to hit extend or retract. You can just hit reverse. And it'll it'll just go until it reaches either its max, min, or pre-programmed heights. This one's pre-programmed height should be about five feet off the ground, as you can see there. It's it's a little bit of a give. That way if I'm parked on like a weird hill that's like mounted in the middle, the drills don't drive themselves into the ground. Um That being said, when it is up it is in travel mode, and when it is all the way up, the drills are perfectly level with the cage. Meaning anything the cage can pass, the drills can pass. And that's how you know you're not going to clip any terrain. Um, when it moves, I'm just going to give you a brief showcase of its... Oh, there's a tree in my way. Of its mobile abilities. Not uber-fantastic. It's, it's really not. It, it slides around a bit because it is still an awkward hunk of mass kind of tall it needs to have a, a wider wheelbase but you can easily add a wider wheelbase to something like this um it can go pretty quick i did max its speed out at like 30 because i don't see any reason for something like this to be able to go faster than that i mean yeah if i hit park right now i'm gonna flip this fucker no over See, that's why I, I limited the speed. That exact reason is why I limited the speed. I've done this four times now. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I go here to F10, being the, the genius I was. I made a blueprint of it. I'm, I'm not going to risk... Oh, no. Well, hold on. I guess it only saved the bottom grid. It did not save the drill. Oh no. Oh no. That means I'm going to have to make two blueprints. Oh, thank God it's it, it the save was here. Oh, as you can see, the one on my left is now starting to run. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What happened? What Oh, I hit a hole. I hit a hole. That's okay, though. That's okay. That's okay. We'll get around it. But, yeah. So, it's it's not the most stable. The next thing on the docket is... Uh, 
expanding my my wheels a bit to make him a bit more stable uh, forward and backwards. It doesn't tip as easy. Um, but I can I can do all of that really easy using jacks and shit. So let let's let's get to the let's get to the the nitty gritty. Let's see how he digs. So first you got to put him in dig mode. You hit one there, and that lowers the top as you can see. Um, I built a ramp here. The end goal is to have this entire thing usable without any hydrogen. Um, you'll be able to get up here without any hydrogen, climb up the ladders, but for some reason you get stuck. Yeah, right about here you get stuck. You got to get off the ladder and get up higher on the ladder, and that lets you keep going. I'm just going to replace these with regular ladders. As much as I love these little ladder shafts, um, they do not love me. Then you get up here. And over here is our big boy. This is the actual, like, upper rig. Because, again, they're two different grids. This is the main grid control. First, you turn the drills on. And then it's just as simple as four, three, two, and one. So three, you can see the drills start punching down. Fun fact... If the traction on your tires is not set to 100, the friction on them, you will flip your own ass. Oh, oh, see, I'm start, I'm, I'm starting to move. For some reason, every now and then, the the rig is too light, and it it moves itself when you dig. Um. I don't know if that's a, a glitch, or if it's literally just pushing itself into the air with how light it is. Um, I'm going to try digging with one first. Maybe it's the order I'm using them in. But yeah, it, it my rig started lifting its own ass off the ground. Alright, well that doesn't seem to have any issue. And then two. Oh. There's a little issue. There's a, there's a little bit of banging. A little bit of bang clanging. Don't like the bang. One of those drills is not depressing anymore. He's, he's obviously stuck. So we're, we're going to pull him back. One of these one of these drills did not go as deep as the others. And then we send him down again. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's not perfect. I'm still working on it. I'm still proud of it. I'm very proud of this thing. It it took me forever and a half to make. Um, yeah, and then you hit three, and three extends the the last set of pistons. It it could be that it's too far away from me, and it's having like processing errors. But there you go. I've I've dug the full pit. And I didn't flip myself as badly as I have in the past. Then you hit one, two, three, and four to pull everything back up. And yes, as your thing digs more and as it gets heavier, that tipping issue will be a thing of the past. You just have to watch out for it on the first, like, hole or two, on the first few punches. Kind of feather it in there, go a little slower. But again, you're just tapping one or two keys at a time, so it's, it's really not a hard thing to watch out for. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is a beautiful future-proof design. I can just continue to add to it and improve it. I can build up with more grids. Um, I can't just copy this blueprint, as, I've, as we've just learned together. Uh, that only copies the base. Um, and then this whole drill array is its own thing that I'll have to build on top of it. But honestly... I'm okay with that, because the base is one of the more important parts. As long as I have the base, I can always build onto it. 
but if I have the top, that does not help me without a base. So, plus I could, you could swap the top out, make, you know, it doesn't have to be a drill rig. You could make the top like an actual fortress, like an actual base base up there, far away from all the bugs and insects and wolves and whatever else is, is out there, you know, and make, you know, make like a hover chair landing pad. The hover chair was, until now, the thing I was most proud of. This thing is one of my favorite inventions, even though it's it's wildly difficult to control, incredibly, like, unhelpful and practically useless. Um, it, it was still something I was really proud of, because once it gets going, it's incredibly fuel efficient and incredibly fast, and it's very light on resources. Um, I'm using nuclear reactors, but you could theoretically use batteries and get a crazy amount of runtime out of something this small. Um, yeah. So, that's it. That's my old rig over there. This is my new rig under me. Whoa! And, uh, using something like the hover chair, especially if I improve upon the hover chair's design... I could easily use the hover chair to get to and from the different rig levels. Um, you could add a hinge to it here in the back and, whoa, build out and make it like a, a land crawler that can like snake its way across with a, an assembler and a refinery to process the ores you pull out of the ground. You could reconfigure the pistons to create a tiered ditch witch that just digs a trench, so that way you're constantly gathering materials as you roll along. There's a thousand and one things you can do with this design, and as far as I'm concerned, I built something beautiful. Um, for those of you who do recognize this design, um, very briefly, I played Space Engineers with my, my brother, my buddy Dan, and my buddy Will, where I built a micro version of this exact rig. Uh, or of that rig, a micro version. It had three drills, I think. And it was incredibly small. It used zero pistons. It was just, it, it was just drills. Well, okay, zero pistons on the main platform. It had a drill in the, it had piston drills in the center. But because you couldn't really improve upon the design, um, it was very dependent on interlocking and interchanging its actual, like, growth intervals. Um, this new design is way more uh, uh, user-friendly, uh, future-proof, and while it is resource-intensive to build something that big, it will pay itself off sevenfold. You do need two different power supplies, one for the base, one for the top, because again, they are different grids. Um, uh, another way you could connect these is using connectors, essentially. Um, replace the the landing gears here, or these, these magnetic pads, with connectors, and then put connectors in your top grid. And theoretically, I believe you could sync the two grids up, and that is what I'm going to try next. As you can see, I've got my hover chair under control. Again, this thing is wonderful. I love my little hover chair, but I love my, my, my magnum opus here better. The reason I call it my magnum opus is because I'm referring again to the base, not the drill. It It is a a land crawler to end all land crawlers when I finally get done with how I'm going to build it, how I'm going to design it, what it's going to look like. It will be the greatest thing I've ever built, and I do intend to make one that is entirely drone operated, so that way you can, you can operate the base of it, drive it around from the the control center up top by like using remote access and shit because I love drones in this game drones in this game are some of my favorite fucking things so I will see you all in the next one have a wonderful day and the next time you guys see me playing this hopefully it'll be with my my buds and we will be improving upon my wonderful land crawler